I'm a snake, I'm a snake. I'm not a snake. Okay, everybody, how you doing? Now listen, I'm not the kind of guy that likes to start off a video just ranting and raving about how much my life sucks right now, because that's my problem, not yours. But let's just do the bullet points really quick and just get it over with, okay? Basement, flooded, furnace, broken, fire department, awesome, sewer line, being dug up, review, delayed, iced tea, refreshing, pizza, delicious, Robin, stacked, Nami, busty, Luffy, snake man! Okay, cool, I nailed that in one take. Ish. Okay, so in lieu of a review, I will instead give you a little post-chapter discussion on Luffy's newest Gear 4th form, Gear 4th Snake Man, and all of its uh, uh, slithery, wacky, wavy, inflatable, arm-flailing, tube-man glory. Uh, so let's get into it, alright? We have some new attacks from Luffy, we got some old ones that are revamped, and we got a new design for the form. Now, keep in mind, because I think people were getting kind of crazy and out there with the designs of what Snake Man was going to look like, keep in mind mind. These are not new gears. Uh, these are all subsets of the same gear, so therefore they're all gonna have the same basic appearance or aesthetic. The hockey, you know, taking the form of, like, tribal tattoos, Luffy's hair going Super Saiyan, got the hockey rings around his eyes, um, the initiating technique for Gear 4th is muscle balloon, so therefore it's gonna be an increase in muscle mass, he gets that weird fog ribbon thing that makes him look like a Neo statue, like, hoy -oh! you know, that kind of stuff. Um, we've seen that with Bound Man, we've seen that with Tank Man, so it's believable that, you know, it was gonna happen with Snake Man, and it did. Here's the design for Gear 4 of Snake Man. I think some people are maybe disappointed with this. You know, if we're being completely honest here, if Snake Man was the first design to show up rather than Bound Man, I don't know. I feel like Gear 4 would have been more accepting at first, because, um... When Luffy went Bound Man against Doflamingo, I remember hearing a lot of people thinking, you know, that's ridiculous, he just basically turned into a giant ball, this was Gear 4, we were expecting something really epic, um, and, and instead of Oda gives us this kind of goofy looking design. Uh, Snake Man seems to be like the more, you know, the more serious, battle-oriented, shonen manga, badass transformation form. Um, you know, Luffy, instead of turning into a giant bouncy ball, um, he just gets more buff, you know, so a lot more muscles, particularly in his arms. Um, I'm assuming all the muscles, it's the same amount of muscle inflation that you had in Bound Man. It's just being compressed down into really just his arms and I would assume his legs as well. Now, this is an added bonus because his attacks have a little bit more punch to them. Uh, however, it's kind of a downside also because I think spreading out that muscle inf inflation throughout his body using Bound Man increased his elasticity. So remember when Doflamingo hockeyed up his foot and, you know, attacked Luffy right in the side and Bound Man, it just kind of like, boing, bounced off of him. And then, and also, whenever Luffy got knocked around by Doflamingo, when he was slamming into the buildings in Dressrosa, it was like he was a freaking, it was like in a pachinko or like a pinball machine. He was just like, bing, 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 getting knocked around. Uh, he couldn't walk uh, properly. He had to take off his sandals and literally just bounce around like a giant ball uh, or use the jet boosters when he had, like, compressing his feet. That's how Luffy got around. Um, it seems while he's in Snake Man, uh, he still bounces in place but he has much, you know, his better control over how he maneuvers, and the elasticity is kind of more manageable. Now, that's a benefit for Luffy, because he's not bouncing to and fro, uh, but it's also a negative, because whenever Katakuri hits him, it's not like Luffy's gonna get bounced off of a wall, he's gonna take the brunt of that attack. Um, but in overall, I like the design, I think in the lieu of the giant bulbous gut, you know, with Bound Man, we get crazier hair in Snake Man. Of course, the designs around his eyes are different. They're more narrow. We saw that last chapter. And also the way that Luffy uh, positions his fists are different. So, or, you know, like, he goes into Bound Man. He has, like, Kong gun. He just compresses his fist into his arm and then just releases it with the shockwave. Uh, here it looks like he's positioning his, his hands like this. Um... We used to do this back in, like, uh, elementary school, where you have different different techniques, okay? You got the monkey bubble, the monkey bubble. You ever get monkey bubbled? We all got monkey bubbled. And this was another one that you would do. You just smack somebody upside the face or upside the neck or something at recess. Be like, ah, you hit me, ow! Um, 
happened to me quite a little bit more than other kids, but whatever. So, you know, uh, you know, I think the, the idea behind this is, you know, snake man, so snakes are much more, they, they, they strike, they're fast, they're precise, they bite you, and then they retract, so just do a little bit more damage this way with the knuckles, just, eh, dead, dead, you know, that's, that's, that's the basic gist of it. Um, so, some techniques that we see Gear 4 of Snake Man use, the first technique he uses is Python, or Culverian, which is the same move he used while in Bound Man. These are all Gear 4 subsets. I'm assuming Luffy could use pretty much any move uh, in Snake Man, in Bound Man, or in Tank Man, in Snake Man. It's just, um, depending on which form, you're going to have better proficiency over a certain move, or it's going to deal more damage, or you'd have better control over it, something of that nature. When Luffy was fighting against Doflamingo while in Bound Man, he used Culverian, and he, you know, it was an attack that, you know, even if the opponent dodges it, you can readjust using hockey. You can angle it, and Luffy can strike stretch very far while in gear forth, and that's how he ended up hitting Doflamingo. The advantage here using Python in, in Snake Man is that it's faster, and also, I guess because more muscles are compressed into his arms in this form, they pack a lot more punch. And every single time, Luffy has to readjust, so when he attacks an opponent, the opponent dodges, and he has to do like those right angle turns. Every time he makes one of those turns with his Culverian, it speeds up, gets faster, and and mass times velocity equals force, bitch. So um, there's going to be a lot more damage here whenever Luffy, um, you know, it, it, he, he sends it out. And the longer it's out there, it speeds up more. It's going to have a lot more damage upon, you know, hitting the opponent eventually. And because Luffy has way more heightened observation hockey now throughout this fight with Katakuri, uh, basically a heat-seeking missile or not even heat-seeking, just like a aura-sensing missile or whatever. Luffy's going to hit you with this thing. That's basically the the of it here. In the chapter, Katakuri dodges the first attack, and it was almost instantaneous. The second that Katakuri dodges the first, he gets hit from the side because it's just so damn fast. Dodges it. Boing, boing, boing. He missed me. What the hell? <laughs> oh, you know, he, and that, that's how fast it was. Katakuri couldn't even register it. So probably from the time that he, you know, he uh, do dodged the first, uh, dodged the first attack, the Culverian, it had time to make like three right turns and, and turn around within like less than a second, you know, and, and that's the real impact that you have there. Now, people have said, well, Snake Man is going to be a... Uh, gear fourth form that's going to be focused on observation hockey. Now, it does appear like Luffy is definitely using his observation hockey in Snake Man. However, um, it doesn't, it's not like it gets heightened to a level that it wasn't at before, um, which I think the whole, like each level, each form of gear fourth is going to be particularly focused around a, a specific type of hockey. Um, it might crumble that a little bit. Now, Luffy, of course, does use observation in this chapter. Um, but I think it's just the observation he was building up through the in the entire fight. Uh, l let me put it another way. It might be that observation hockey would work best while in Gear 4 of Snake Man, but that's not the end-all be-all. It's not like going into Gear 4 of Snake Man increases his height of observation. Uh, if Luffy went into Bound Man and used his newfound observation skills against Katakuri, it might have the same similar effect. Um, yeah, same similar, you know, it's the exact same similar. Yeah, so um, think of it more of that way, I, I guess. Um, perhaps Luffy didn't want to bust out Snake Man until he really had a better grasp on observation and seeing the future and everything, um, because even though observation would work really well while in tandem with Snake Man, because you're basically having this incredibly fast gear, you need to be able to sense your opponent and know where they're going to stand in order to angle the attack the right way and for it to circle around and hit you, um, you need to have observation, but... It doesn't seem like, you know, it, it, it's just like Gear 4, Snake Man, that's the observation one. No, I think I think all of his base moves got raised there. Like, even if Luffy went into Gear 2nd, just normal Gear 2nd, using his newfound observation, he would be on a whole different level now. This was a big advantage for Luffy learning those observation skills. Speaking of Gear 2nd, it really does seem like Gear 4th is more of just combining Gear 2nd and Gear 4th together. Um, you know, kind of like when Luffy went into Gear 4th Bound Man and he was... 
at first, I thought Luffy combined Gear 3rd and Gear 4th to make King Kong Gun, but then the way it was depicted in the anime, it just seemed like he was inflating his muscles more rather than increasing his bones and his muscles. So, I don't know, the jury might still be out on that. Um, but uh, Tank Man certainly increases your size, so maybe that'll be like combining Gear 3rd and 4th, and that's Tank Man. Gear 2nd and Gear 4th, that's, that's uh, Snake Man. Um, and then, you know, Gear 4th, just normal balance, that's Bound Man. There you go. That maybe maybe think of it that way further. Um, and because it seems to be based on speed, he of course names his techniques. You know, uh, jet Culverian, and 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 you know, adding the jet prefix like he does while he's in gear second. So Luffy's really taking advantage of his naming schemes. I imagine you know Luffy. You know, at night he's like drawing a line in the sand on Ruskina. He's like, okay, all right. So gear second, that's all the jet moves. Gear third, that's the Giganta moves. What am I gonna name gear fourth after? And then he just sees all these animals around him like. Awesome. Thanks for the hint, guys. And he starts naming them all after animals around him, okay? So, that's Python. The two other moves that we get to see in this chapter that are modeled after, uh, they're, they're named after snakes, which makes sense. It's Snake Man. Although we didn't really get to see snakes on Ruskina too much. Uh, you know, Kuja and everything. I've mentioned this before. So, the first move he uses is basically the Gear 4 Snake Man equivalent of Jet Gatling, and it's, uh, Black Mamba. So, okay. The Black Mamba, for those of you that haven't watched Kill Bill, is this incredibly poisonous snake. I, I believe if it is not the most poisonous snake in the world, it's definitely up there um, in like the top five or something. Ridiculously poison, uh, well, venomous, I guess I should say. I got in a lot of trouble when I said that last time. It's like, it's not poisonous, it's venomous teching. Poison is ingested, venom is injected. Get your facts straight. Okay, fine. Venomous. Very venomous snake. Neurotoxin. Like, 100 to 400 milliliters with every bite, this thing will kill you fast. If you get bit by a black mamba, honestly, if you're in the middle of the African savanna, you're basically screwed. I got nothing else to help you with there. So that's that's black mamba, basically jet gatling, but with snake man, hockey, way faster, and um, just pummels the crap out of Katakuri there. And then the last move he uses is uh, King Cobra, which is a technique which seems to, from looking at this panel at first, I thought King Cobra was basically like the speeded up jet version of King Kong gun. Because from this panel, from the perspective at first, it looks like his arm got way bigger. What I think happened here was that Luffy stretched out his arm and every time it makes a turn, it gets faster. So Luffy's building up momentum. He's like, I'm gonna fire off my, uh, my, my, my punch and it's gonna go right angle, speed up, right angle, speed up, right angle, speed up, speed up, right around me. By the time that thing slingshots around, it's gonna BAM! have a lot of force behind it, and I think that's what King Cobra really is. Also, at the end of King Cobra, it doesn't look like he's doing, you know, the, the knuckle walk kind of thing, the, the quick snake bite. It looks like his arms are stretched out, so I'm assuming I'm gonna you know, build up a lot of momentum and speed and velocity, and I'm just gonna slam it right into my opponent like a snake bite, like a King Cobra, just gonna gnaw right at you there. Um, of course, the attack clashes with Katakuri's diced mochi, big explosion. We don't know what's going on here after that. Also, there's a lot of sparks flying in this last chapter, so I'm assuming he's tossing Conqueror's Hockey into that shit as well. So... Um, I, I don't know if you want to incorporate the whole, you know, you know, here's a Conqueror hockey form, here's an Observation hockey form. I think it's better just to think of them all as Luffy just incorporating hockey in general into Gear 4, all of his forms. Um, you know, that, that, that and it makes sense. It makes sense. It's like, you know, wh I came up with this move called Culverian. Why would I only use it in Snake Man if I could use it in Bound Man? So, pretty much, I mean, Luffy could probably use you know, King Cobra or Black Mamba while in Bound Man, while in Tank Man. Tank Man, you have the limited mobility, but you could still use it. It's just that it, it's it's best, it's most effectual while being used in Snake Man. Luffy could probably use King Kong Gun while in Snake Man too. It probably just wouldn't be as, as, as powerful because uh, it's not that kind of gear. It's based more towards speed. But... At the end of the day, I enjoyed the design. Uh, it was a little bit more simplistic than I imagined. I was expecting Luffy to get more, a lot more, you know, wavy and stretchy, but, uh, you know, compressed it down a little bit. I think it works just fine. I like the hair. Uh, the fact that he named a technique Black Mamba. I mean, come on. I mean, that's going to be the last... Like, okay, 
Okay, pop quiz time. You get sucked into the One Piece universe, and you end up having to fight Luffy. You pop into the One Piece universe, and you're a subordinate of Kaido or Big Mom, it's like, and you gotta fight against Straw Hat Luffy, okay? And, 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 you know, it's like, okay, if I'm gonna lose to Luffy, if I'm gonna get knocked out into a coma, you know, would the, like, in, in the last attack that he shouts is, Black Mamba! Be like, I'm okay with this. Wouldn't you be okay with that? I'd be okay with that. Be like, well, I'm gonna lose, and I might not wake up after this, but damn, that was a freaking cool attack name. <laughs> awesome! Ugh. Yeah, so that, that kind of won me over right there. Um, but yeah, what did you guys think of the big reveal of Snake Man? Uh, leave your comments below. Review will be out. I don't know when, but I'll get it out. Don't worry, because guess what? You know, last week, Odom was nice enough to give us Snake Man without a break, but now he's like, yeah, now after I showed you how cool Snake Man was and the final clash between Luffy and Katakuri... See you in two weeks, guys. Later. All right. <laughs> it's Oda. What are you going to do? All right. Hope you had a good one, guys. Uh, I got to go and, and fish a bunch of stuff out of my basement that hopefully hasn't been destroyed by floodwaters. Uh, have a great one. Teching, signing out.